Hey everyone, um, look what I've got. It's a scroller box. I didn't do last the last two months because I kind of didn't like them, the surprise or the prompts, and I just really wasn't feeling scroller box. But this month, hopefully, we get something super exciting. So let's have a look. Very loosely packaged today. So we have the print. Oh, this is really nice. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know what that is. It's like maybe colored pencil. And this is the artist Milky Rat. So I'll pop that there so you can see the information. So it looks like this was done in watercolor, it says here, which makes sense because this is watercolor paper, it looks like. It's really cool watercolor paper. It's got like a texture on this side, smooth on this side, and then there's like this really cool fringe bit here. A little sweet there. And here's the good stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, it looks like we have watercolors. Okay, that's awesome. So there's a an, one of those special erasers. What are they called again? Um, putty eraser. So that's like a putty eraser. A uh, pencil, Faber Castell graphite watercolor pencil. Sketching. A uh, little sticker. And it looks like we have some watercolors. Derwent Ink Tense watercolors. So it looks like a little travel set with its own water brush, which is pretty cool. I don't know if that's just a filler or you meant to put something there, but that's really cool. This is my first watercolors set I've got from Squirrel Box, so it's pretty exciting. So yeah, it looks like the Derwent Ink Tense pan set with a mini water brush. Oh, and a handy sponge to help absorb water and pigments. Okay, so you are meant to have that sponge there. And then the pencil and the uh, need kneadable eraser. That's what it's called, kneadable eraser. And then this watercolor paper is botanical ultra smooth watercolor paper made from 50% cotton. And this month's prompt is false prayer. So I have no idea what to do with false prayer, but I, I guess we'll just test out the supplies and hopefully something will come to us in the meantime. Like I mentioned, I didn't do the last two scroller boxes because I really didn't enjoy the boxes. I think in June it was pencils and things, um, which actually I really like the pencils now, but I just didn't like them at the time. And then last month was awful for me personally. It was bullet journaling and I'm just like super not into bullet journaling. So I was kind of disappointed with the last couple of months scroller boxes, but this month I was super excited for watercolors because I'm, I've, I haven't used watercolors for like the last month because I've been drawing mainly so it was pretty cool to get back into it and these watercolors are so nice like you can see the colors on the page there they are so vibrant um I guess that's why they're called ink tents right because they're like super intense and I don't know if it's the watercolors themselves or the paper or the combination of the two but I found this paper like amazing I think it's the best watercolor paper I've used because I've only really use kind of like cheap store brand watercolor paper and now I kind of want to buy myself some good stuff. So um, I'm just popping the pencil on to figure out how it works with the watercolor and it does kind of bleed the color into the pencil especially with the lighter colors there but if you're just sketching out with the pencil I think it's a good idea. Normally I sketch them with colored pencils but I guess using a watercolor pencil for sketching is a good idea. And then I did this like hideous face. It turns out pretty hideous because I just kind of smushed the watercolor into each other. So ignore that. But as you can see on the right there, that little swatch, the watercolors work so nicely together. Like they just blend and they blossom on the page. I don't know if that's the watercolor or the paper, but it's probably the paper because this is pretty super awesome quality paper. Um, so then I just kind of look at other colors that you can make. One thing that I did find is I found it hard to make uh, lots of different blues. You can see how pretty the watercolor is. 
and then for the prompt it was false prayer so this is like a quick sketch and I decided to do a little portrait of a character in a kind of stained glass window style I thought that might be quite nice so I'm just struggling to open the rubber the um, eraser and in the end I just take off a tiny little bit and I dab around I did dab out too much um, I have birds at the top there and I erased them all completely so I kind of had to make it up in the end but it's a pretty sweet eraser and now you'll be able to see with the sky um, how difficult I found it making lots of different variations of blue maybe that's just me other people might be able to make hundreds of variations but I kind of go purple and a bit green but I thought it was quite fun to do this stained glass window style it's kind of like those precision exercises you do when you're learning watercolor when you have to try and put um, different bits of watercolor next to each other without them blending in um, so I kind of go around and I just wait for bits to dry and I don't know it's not really scientific I just kind of blobbed it together really and then at the bottom she's kind of wearing like a shawl I guess or like a dress I'm not really sure um, I decided to try and do some different shapes and it kind of ended up a bit weird like a, a C almost so I haven't actually posted to YouTube for maybe six weeks and a couple of the reasons why was because um, the scroller boxes didn't turn out <laughs> Blame it on the scroller box. No, um, I just like super wasn't into making videos. I've actually recorded like eight different video ideas, like footage for them, but I just haven't edited any. I just couldn't bring myself to edit videos. And I guess after like a long day at work, you come home and you just don't want to vid it, vid it. You don't want to edit anything because I actually work on computers all day long, and some of my job does involve editing. So, you know what they say, you know, like when, when your hobby becomes your job, it's kind of not really fun anymore. But I'm back now and hopefully I can start putting videos out every week again because I do really enjoy doing them. It's kind of fun to see like what you've done, especially when it's all sped up and stuff. It's kind of fun to see it all come together. So I'm doing the wings here. Um, they kind of look like fiery wings. These are meant to be feathers or leaves, I'm not really sure. And then I didn't want the hair to be yellow, so I made it like black. I don't know how many angels have black hair, but I'm pretty sure a black haired angel would look awesome. So that's what I went with. And I really like how um, the character's face turned out because I kind of just drew it from the top of my head and I've been trying to do that a lot lately like stylized faces and look at reference but not copy the reference just use it for placement of features because I kind of want to like develop my style so that's kind of where I'm trying to get, get to a place where I'm comfortable drawing things from my head and then I used the pencil at the end to go around all the stained glass windows and I got to this point here where I was like I shouldn't have used the pencil but it does bring it all together even though it is there's something nice about it just having watercolour without the outlines but you couldn't really see what the image was so I'm super happy with this month's scroller box um, it was fun I really enjoyed doing this it was really therapeutic just doing like tiny little blobs of watercolour everywhere and I quite like how it turned out so hopefully scroller box will continue to be awesome in the future and I'll uh, keep popping videos up and another thing that was really fun was the composition actually the long composition that was the change so that's the finished image and that's the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.